Congratulations on when a day at a time, two seasons, now going to go into a third soon. There aren't that many shows on television that, uh, uh, you know, or streaming that dis depict, uh, you know, the Hispanic experience, the Latin American experience. Uh, does it feel like a lot of pressure to cover a lot of different kinds of stories? You know, it doesn't feel like pressure in a negative way, I guess. I just, I'm just telling authentic stories from my life, so it feels different. Uh, it's, it's more of an honor, really, to be able to finally talk about stories through the lens of my family and my Latinx experience. So I take it more as like an honor and a privilege to be able to do it. And you know, we don't speak for all Latino families. So that's a pressure that I don't put place upon myself because we couldn't possibly, there's so many amazing stories out there. But we're being specific about what this family is going through and we're trying to tell it authentically with, you know, with heart. And, uh, you know, of course, since, you know, there's so much, you know, uh, ground to, you could possibly cover with, with this family and this, their story, uh, you know, what, going into season three, you know, were your priorities and your thoughts that you really wanted to, to tackle and, and, and think about? Well, you know, there's a lot of things we've already set up that we want to just continue with. You know, we have this single mom who's decided to go back to school and the difficulties of that. And so this would be her last year in the program, so we're following through on that, on her journey, trying to educate herself while working a full-time job while being a single mom. Uh, we also have Lydia as a citizenship now, but she just suffered through a major health trauma. So what is that like and issues of ageism and uh, growing old gracefully and what that means. Uh, and then we have Elena is out and she has a girlfriend and what is a young lesbian dating uh, in this modern world look like and how does she deal with that? And then Alex, of course, is getting older and, you know, uh, what's he experiencing is he, he's like a more popular kid and he has different pressures as well. So there's things that are already so set up uh, that we just get to continue doing. And then, of course, topical things that we'll be touching upon that I can't tell you too much about because then it's revealing too much. <laughs> well, there's also, uh, in addition to looking forward to the future of this family, the show has also looked to, to, you know, to the past, you know, some of where they've come from in recent years, in this past in Cuba. Uh, is there a lot more that you want to explore about where this family came from in addition to where they're going? I think there can't help but be a nod to the past. I think that when you're an immigrant family, it's just part of your everyday DNA. So, yes, there will be more of Lydia talking about Cuba and what that means for her and uh, how it feels to be in this country right now as, as an immigrant. Well, uh, congratulations and, and thank you very much for, for talking. Oh, lovely. Thank you.